sorry to interrupt the video, y'all. If y'all don't want to hear about this, just skip to like four minutes in, y'all. But what I want to tell y'all is a lot of people have been asking me to make a community where we could learn and elevate together. And I finally did it. A lot of y'all be inboxing me, asking me about different ways to make money. A lot of y'all inbox me about different ways to monetize your social media. And I have people just inbox me for a lot of financial advice. So knowing that a lot of people want financial advice from me, y'all been hitting me up for mentorships, I've realized the best thing for me to do is not give y'all a mentorship or make a course, but I've realized the biggest things in the world, y'all, are corporations. If you don't know what a corporation is, it's a group of people working together to run a business. So what I mean by that is, y'all, yeah, you got millionaires that work by themselves, but when you think about Amazon, Jeff Bezos might be the face of Amazon, but it wasn't for the workers that drive the trucks, the people working on the assembly lines, people sending your packages out, would he be a billionaire? Same thing with Apple. Apple is a company, you get what I'm saying? Steve Jobs on Apple, but without the people that created the iPhones, the people that worked in the factories and shipped stuff out, would Apple be Apple? So the reason why I'm saying all this to y'all is because I'm trying to get y'all to understand that basically, bro, it's real easy to get to where you want to be by yourself, but it's way easier when you have a community or you got a team of people working with you. So what I've done is instead of creating a course, instead of doing a mentorship, we the ghost family. That's what we always been. And I want to keep it that way. But to the people that's been asking me for financial advice, I created an opportunity where now the ghost family has a community where you could join this community. We teach in social media monetization, clothing brand advice. We teach in ways to blow up on social media with or without your face, ways to make money with or without showing your face on social media. Uh, credit advice. We showing all types of different stuff when you think about just being an entrepreneur. It gets really crazy, y'all. It's a lot of info inside there. But beyond just information, y'all, information does get you a long way. But I've also come to a realization, bro, it's not about what you know nowadays. It's about who you know. It's about the people that you know in higher places and the people that have connections. When you look at XXL, it be your favorite rapper, but it always be that one person you never heard of. And the reason why is because... Bro had connections. He had a good A&R, a good label, a good team. So sometimes having knowledge is half the battle. It's people that's talented but won't get as far because it's somebody that knows somebody here or knows somebody there. So he going to get to where you trying to go faster. So what I want to tell y'all is you got to have the knowledge and you got to have the connections. And that is exactly what this community is for, y'all. It's to provide y'all with all the knowledge to be an entrepreneur. But it's a platform where it's over 150 people already in here, y'all. And we in this community learning together. So as I grow, y'all grow. And as y'all grow, we grow together. They're learning everything I know within my 23 years of living. And I'm learning stuff from them too, y'all. We post in here every day. Uh, it's active 24 hours. It's people that's going to respond to you if I'm not responding. And one thing I can tell you is we have live calls every Sunday. We'll have special guests. We'll have a lot of people dropping in to teach y'all knowledge and just network and provide y'all with a place to where you could learn with like-minded people, whether it be being a clothing brand owner, a vlogger, whatever the case may be, we teaching everything. But beyond teaching, we providing you with a platform where you could talk to people that's doing what you want to do, doing what you're doing, uh, might be a little bit ahead of you, might be a little bit behind you, but we all going to work and grow together, y'all. So if one person in there, six, seven figure business owner, you could do the same thing, y'all. I tell y'all, we always got the same 24 hours in a day. It's just about what you do with them. So for $50, y'all, you can check out the uh, link in my bio. It'll have all the details to the community. It's a 12-minute video that tells you everything that's going to be in the community before you even get in there, y'all. So y'all can go check that video out. The link will be the first link in my description. I'm done with the blabber session, though, y'all. So the people that want to be in the community, it's an opportunity for y'all, for all the people that's been asking. Now y'all got a place to go. Now you got a place to learn. Now you got a place to talk to people. And beyond that, you'll be able to talk to me and talk to people outside of just me, people that you could learn and create a team with. And when we have in our live sessions, y'all, it'll be people dropping in like Hollywood, Shaq, Capri, Quan, and a lot of different people, y'all. So you might have an opportunity to talk to your favorite content creator and ask him questions that you might not be able to ask him on a regular day-to-day -day basis. But all of this will be provided in the first link, man. Y'all go check that out. But let's get straight into the vlog. What I got going on YouTube is Who Casper, and I'm back with another video, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's been like... It ain't been that long since I seen y'all. I think it's been like 24 hours, 48 hours. We back in the motion of posting every two days, if y'all can't tell, man. I made a promise to y'all, and I'm trying to keep my promise. So, new upload today. If you're watching this, I dropped this on Friday. And today is Friday, man. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope y'all folks enjoyed your, uh, your weekday and all that good stuff, man. This is a video for y'all folks to, you feel me, start y'all weekend off. And then we got another upload coming on Sunday, man. All I can say is... 
We about to go on a crazy road trip, y'all. If you can't tell by the title, man, yes, this video is a road trip. We is finna go across, I think, like 12 states or something like that. It's a 24-hour ride there and a 24-hour ride back, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, it's finna be crazy. We finna pass through St. Louis, uh, Tennessee, Illinois, Kansas, a whole bunch of different places, bro. Y'all will see along the way, man. But, yeah, it's my first time ever doing a road trip. I'm taking, I said I'm taking, I'm taking my mom, my cousin, Quan with me, uh, and a couple other people, y'all. And yeah, man, I always tell y'all folks, bro, I used to buy material stuff for my family. I'm talking about Van Cleef bracelets. I used to buy material stuff for myself, but the things that really stuck with me were the memories I make, the people I could touch, and the things that I could do with the money, not necessarily the money or the material shit. So I just started realizing, bro, like, buying experiences and being able to like do things outside of just buying shit with your money you get what i'm saying like the experiences you can make with your money the flights you could take the the places you could go things you could see that'll stick with you more than the earrings in your ears you get what i'm saying stuff like that bro because as soon as you get old as soon as you get dirty it loses its value memories never lose value because I could think back of something I did 10 years ago and the memory still hit the same every time. So, like, it might not be the same for everybody, but to a lot of people that say they're inspired by me or look up to me, if you anything like me, you'll realize, bro, this material shit is only half of what the world got to offer to you. So, this year, I'm really finna lock in on just, like, creating experiences for me and my family, bro, taking my mom different places, my cousins, my best friends, and stuff like that, and really just stepping outside my comfort zone and leaving my city so I could really show y'all the world and just show y'all how diverse people are, how diverse culture is, just like how different things are in different places. Because until you step outside of your city, you wouldn't know that the world has so much out there. You get what I'm saying? You be thinking you're the biggest thing in the world until you really get to traveling or you really get to experience in life. And you just realize that you're a grain of rice within this world. Everybody got the same 24 hours in a day. We all skin, bones, bleed, blood the same way as each other. So... I can't look at anybody any different from me. And if you feel like you're any bigger than anybody, the universe will take what you got real quick. So I always stay humble and I manage to keep staying humble by expanding my mind, meeting people, doing different things, talking to different people and going different places, which is why I tell people experiences, the things that you could do with the money is more important than the money. But we done with my little yap session, y'all. We finna get straight into this goddamn car ride. It's finna be a long one, man. Let's get straight into the road trip. Hey, what's up, man? Go say hi. He ain't said hi. He's a fan. Boy, he's a fan favorite. Hi, <laughs> baby. With his bad self. Hey. Come on. Come on, Granny Stinks. Stink man. Ooh, come on. You're so precious. Where have we been? You're so, so precious. Far? Yeah. I don't hi. know. I just never woke up. We're still in Kansas. Hi. We're in Kansas still? Yes. Are we still in Kansas? Yes. yes. For real? Eight hour drive. Well, we Kansas, I was gonna Kansas say, is low. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say we went to sleep. I thought we were still in Kansas. No, I told you, eight hour drive from Colorado. What's his name? Ghost. His name is Ghost. Oh. So pretty. So pretty. Say the bad man. All right. So currently, we are in Kansas, y'all. We is at some gas station called the Pilot. I don't know why it's a bunch of gas stations called the Pilot out here, but obviously. That's their thing, because everything out here is called this shit. I haven't seen no one quick trip, not no one racetrack shell, none of that shit. Everything out here is the pilot. It's the only gas station I've ever seen that got showers in that bitch, y'all. Before taking a shower at the gas station. Well, I guess truckers and shit, because that's who this gas station is made for. But this gas station is crazy, y'all. Got all types of little machines in here with iPods. and Nigga, you get, nigga they got a, a vending machine for a pocket knife, a, a what you call it? I can't think of what this is called, y'all. Whatever this little machine is with this arm. But pocket knives is crazy. You can win you a pocket knife. It's Stan. Bro. The $50 is crazy. Bro, what's up with all these machines, bro? Nigga, it's a whole arcade in this bitch. Why is it an arcade in the gas station, y'all? Nah, bro, this gas station is fucking extravagant, y'all. I ain't never in my life been in no gas station with no goddamn games in here. And the gas station bigger, it's still going. Say so, y'all, it's crazy, y'all. It's whole, it's so much stuff in here. But yeah, Baby Ghost is uh, with my mama, y'all. He was just running around the gas station not too long ago. I think he's back in the car, though. 
I ain't gonna lie, but it is windy as a motherfucker out here. I had to change my hat, y'all. That other little hat got down thin as a piece of goddamn paper mache. Got down hat from the motherfucking gas station one time out of damn thing. That bitch had wind coming through that bitch some more shit, y'all. And I had to put on the Cleezy. That little, that little jacket got down. That bitch was not keeping enough heat on my body. My bad, y'all. I had to make sure it wasn't in my nose. But my lip is peeling like a, a fucking a snake. God damn. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm tired as fuck, but I ain't really too much tripping because I ain't really showed y'all the inside of the sprinter we've been on, so I'm gonna show y'all right now, man. Yeah, big ass sprinter, y'all. We're gonna be good, so I'm gonna take me a nap. Alright. Bad bit of rose. We gotta, we gotta wait till the... Damn, my mom trying to tell these folks some shit. Don't give a fuck about that goddamn gas station chicken like that. I was talking to whoever was listening. Fuck shit, Quan turned around. That nigga zoomed out. And Leek looking at his phone. You talk to yourself. You love to talk to everybody else, bro. You hey, Leek. You hear me. You ain't have to... Don't put Leek in this shit. You see how he didn't answer me? It's because he's not listening, nigga. Don't, don't put Leek into this shit. <laughs> it's because he's not <laughs> fucking listening. About what you talking about. You just like to argue. Row one. Row two. Row three, I don't like arguing with your ass on God. You can ask Lee. I be hanging up on you on purpose for a reason. No, TV, front row. I hate arguing with my mama, y'all. Who likes arguing with their mama? Nobody. It's a losing situation. She the one that birthed you. You're going to lose every fucking time. Because if she gets to grinding, you lose. She get to yelling, you lose. She get mad, you lose. It ain't no way to win with your mama. Don't nobody want to argue with her. Ugh. Get away. Get away I know it was. That shit just sounded like a person, bro. You ain't gonna get mad. You <laughs> go and be trim break. That nigga leaked that like he was so mad. Bro, take that dick out your mouth. You back your dick out your head. You know what I'm saying? What the hell is that nigga? He went right under me. That boy uh, just took a mean ass shit outside too. Yes, he did. Big ass, like a grown ass. That dog. nigga don't be using the bathroom. When nigga be taking his ass outside unless it's peeing. Shit, he, he be acting like he don't know how to shit outside or something. Shit, yeah, yeah. I fi I figured out why the hell this nigga stinking and farting. This nigga ate my goddamn lunchable while I was asleep. The bitch fell under the seat, y'all. Bro, got to enjoy a midnight snack. Oh yeah, now we give y'all like a, it ain't really a thorough tour, but you can see what the hell going on. It's my boy. Yeah. I used to work with this nigga, y'all. <laughs> a lot of people be thinking on capping. My mom could contest to this. Little bro used to work at the fucking oh, Zach. He gonna slap somebody. It's, it's a slap off. Why the hell, little bro, in a slap off? But anyways, y'all, when I used to work at motherfucking Zaxby's, my bro used to work there. Yeah. The Zaxby's on Count Creek. Oh, shit. shit. Oh, that's Boski. He's slapping Boski TV. Boski be be doing stuff with little girls though. Boski deserve to be slapped. You remember Boski Kwan? <laughs> he slap shit out, bro. Boski like 40 years old and be fucking like, we're trying to fuck like 13 year olds. That man be tweaking. Slap that in. Why you wrapped up in two? Fuck that. When the hell does he grow a beard? I don't know, but he got a fool on me. Yeah. <laughs> slap shit out that nigga. Oh, he said. <laughs> you know Boski slow, bro. Yeah, that nigga was I ain't gonna lie, mama, like, that man is slow, bro. <laughs> that man used to be on Watch the Road fighting. What you call it? Mama, what's the dude with the fucked up arm? Shamar. Oh, yeah. He used to be, they used to live in the same fucking apartment complex, and Shamar was whooping that nigga ass on the video. Mama, I'm talking about mama. Little ass Shamar grabbing this nigga. Talking about something. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, because he used to be, bro, They he used to be fucking with Shamar, mama. Shit weird. Anyways, y'all, hell yeah, yeah. The little dude. Y'all better than Crispy Crunchy Chicken, or it's the same. But they got a kebab up there and they munching on them hoes. Oh shit. When the fuck Krispy Crunchy Chicken start making shish kebabs? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the hell? That, so that shit was big, Juan. Where the fuck got a whole shish kebab from like Krispy Crunchy Chicken? The Krispy Crunchy Chicken in Atlanta could never, y'all. I mean, no, yeah, we got, don't yeah, have yeah, we got biscuits and shit. Y'all probably seen that at the beginning of the vlog. And they got chicken and chicken tenders and random ass wings that look like pterodactyl knuckles. But I ain't never seen no shish kebab damn my fucking life. My lip peeling like to the gods. Hey, mom, you got some stuff. 
Yeah, just stole my lip. That bitch is dry as fuck. That bitch is crusty, peeling, and dealing. Willing and dealing. Because all my stuff is girl stuff, it looks. I didn't bring that, uh, the, the stuff in the Bluetooth. But this shit broke off into the thing then. Let me see it, Buddha. Melt it so it fall out. Let me see it, Buddha. It's stuck at the top. It's not a lot of it, though. Uh -huh. That man used the bathroom at every rest stop, man. That man shitted in his bag when we was driving, bro, one time. Bro, that shit was terrible. Man, the whole car smelled like poopy cockas. No, stop. Leave that alone. Hey, damn, bro. Why you always being nosy? Come on. Come on. But they want them Chinese trees, y'all. I think. Let me know if I'm right in the comment section. I know a lot of y'all don't know about plants, but I like one of them plants to be in Japan and shit. Little bro. It's something about baby goats, but Applebee, Taco Bell, terrible combination of food. My Petro Mart. He went in the other store, bro. Them folks were giving them treats and some other shit. They talking about something. Oh my God. He so cute. Big laugh. You don't know him, man. Get off his ankles. <laughs> Say, we don't, we don't fuck with you, bro. Big laugh. Come on. Are you so damn friendly? You can't go in there. Come on. Let's go. You want LeBron? LeBron need his own TV show, y'all. This nigga wild as hell. Where you going? That nigga don't know where he going. That nigga said, walking better be walking and shit, y'all. Ooh. None. Say, so, say, so we gonna have to get all the way south, P. Yeah. We gotta go to a smoke shop or something, man. Yeah. Figured as much. Nah. See, we ain't from here. We, where we at right now? Uh, you on stadium. Stadium? Like, what part of, what part of the, so, get like, over here, go? Really, I just moved down here. Like, yeah. But, what is it? Is this close to, what you call it, though? Uh, where the hell are we going, twin? I can't even think of where we going. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where we at. We was just in Kansas, but we been in the car sleep like a motherfucker. Where we at, mom? Huh? Where we at? And, and where we at right now? I mean, the arch way. Uh, I don't know where the fuck we are right now. I don't know what the fuck we are right now. Uh, right now. Uh, we in Kansas. We in where? Columbia. Columbia? Yeah, I'm still in Kansas, all right? No? So we're in between. Okay. okay. That, that hard. That hard, that hard man. Oh. Oh, no. It's all good, brother, man. I thought it was one of the bathrooms, a hell of a bathroom. Mm -hmm. You ain't going in here, man. He already went in there. Get out. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out. Why are you putting me at? Baby go. Hey, Yo, that mean, bro. That's how you get stole, bro. You can't be walking up on everybody just saying, hey, bro. What if they What's snatch up, you up, bro? They don't have to beat somebody up, bro. Pop them, bro. What you doing, bro? Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, trim. Bad dog. No. Bad Say, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We getting closer and closer, but we've been in this motherfucker for hours. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that boy got birds on the back of his shit, y'all. Yeah, take your ass in there. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Don't worry. Say, I'm finna go use the bathroom. And then after that, finna get the hell back on the road. Uh, cause we we got down, um, bro. A 24 hour drive is nasty work, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad cause I don't gotta be the driver. Cause every other time we went somewhere, like for example, when we went to Miami, I was the one driving, and that shit was a nine hour drive. That shit went no hope. The boy thought about it. Hey, why the hell, baby ghost was in there? <laughs> nigga, baby ghost was in that bitch. Flies around that bitch and what? Shit. Nigga, baby ghost was talking to everybody in the store, bro. That nigga just walked up on like ten oh, different bro. motherfuckers. They all talking about some. Rawr! He's so cute. I'm like, bro, you gonna get stolen, bro? Yo, at Trump. I ain't gonna lie, man. That man, that man said hey to everybody in the goddamn store. Where he at? In the, in the car. Was not lying about the flies, bro. Get your ass back, bro. I don't know if I can see these niggas on camera. These niggas in here, but these niggas deep in hell. Look at his ass. You. Hey, glad the way. So, yeah, bro, it's flies all in it, bitch. Boy, you got different types of flies. You got gnats. You got 
beak flies. You got fruit flies. Man, what the hell, man? That bathroom nasty shit, y'all. I'm finna pee and then get the fuck on. But I see why Leek say he ain't wanna change his clothes in here. Nigga, why the hell is flies in the bathroom like we outside or something? Niggas everywhere. Ew! One. Two. Three. Four. Goddamn. Nigga say five. Bro, you bitches are all in that bit, man. It's flying fast like a motherfucker. Time to get the hell on, y'all. Yeah. No kids. I don't think I've ever been to Nashville. Yeah, yes, I have. I'm lying. Say we in Nashville, P. Hey, Mark. Tell him we in Nashville, P. Nashville, P. Damn. Spank his ass. Say that Nashville arch. Damn. Spank his ass. So it's early in the morning, I'm about to take my car Wait. to the shop real Damn. quick. Y'all see, I'm whipping on the donut right now, bruh. Little ass wheel. The thing is, I don't know what happened to my tires Long little little today. Man. I'm just driving Say, and I hear Damn, boom, boom, spank his ass. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Nashville 10, that shit crazy. Bro, 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 here, got down. Straight Tennessee. Like, Bro, like I, don't like know I said, I've only been to Tennessee like two, three times. Like okay. Like, if you Love Lonely, man. Tennessee <laughs> legend. Oh, they got Tennessee so Project, man. Nat, 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 Project, man. The actual tire, bro, because like, I'm not leveled at all. Like, literally, I feel like I'm about to like, crash out, bro. bridge. Baby shittles. Mom! Come on, Frenchy man! Fluffy! Hey, you know you a bad bitch! <laughs> Stupid ass! Come on. Oh! Baby shittles! Shit Bro, that nigga back wavy as fuck, coin. Oh God, that nigga got them 360. 360. 360. 
Jesus. Hey, Mar, why they ain't got them 360 Jesus, bro? But wave it, fuck. 360 Jesus. Hey, so we back into the vlog, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, we is in some random gas station in the middle of Chicago. The fact that we was in I was finna say Shalana. <laughs> The, the fact that we was in Atlanta, bro, and we in Chicago right now, and we did all of this, not on the plane, but in a fucking Sprinter. This shit is crazy, y'all. I think I'm finna be like one of the first vloggers to go to all 50 states in a Sprinter. Blue Bunny. <laughs> Blue, Bunny. <laughs> Blue Bunny. Bro, these folks got the, the Coca-Cola mix-up machine in here, bro. These folks is fancy as hell. I don't know what type of gas station this is. What you doing, bro? It's called, it's called Rhodes. I guess it's like a fake quick trip. Red Bear Lemon Day. I feel like I'll get the coffees. They, have they having some blends. Do they got some fucking uh, breakfast blend? What the hell? Pumpkin spice. Breakfast blend. <clears throat> he grows up so fast. Where you going? Hey. What did fat ass stick in your mouth? Looking like a bunny rabbit. You can't take that with you. You gotta leave it here. I why? You why you shit on the water. side of the Sprinter? It's like cause it was comfortable. It's the most desirable. What, Mama Casper? I ain't say shit. Mama Ghost? Big laugh. Mama Roast. New York style pizza. Big <laughs> laugh. I know the for sale ball spray, bro. They got to. Well, you better take your ass off. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Oh, shit. 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 Just, just let them settle. Let them settle. Texas Roadhouse. Oh yeah, let yeah, them out. out. Oh, yeah, you right. so not smart, buddy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm in here stressed out. <laughs> nigga, they flying and getting on me, bro. <laughs> one one in my ear. <laughs> oh, get back. You gotta you turn the light off. Right? Why are the lights off? I'm finna enjoy my ice cream sandwich. Is you still recording? <laughs> 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 That nigga hell no sex today. And the dog under the damn seat still great. Yo, where's he at? Come on, West Style. No, I look there. I don't know where to go. I don't okay, really okay, care about okay. the little ones, bro. It's the ones that decide no, the fucking baby pit bulls and shit flying mosquitoes? around the air. Them not mosquitoes. Them nah, was, bro. Them mosquito, mosquito eaters. eaters. It was, I'm yeah. tired of y'all telling me it's that. A, it's a mosquito hawk. <laughs> That's what they call it, for real. Yeah, mosquito hawk is yep. crazy word. Mosquito hawk. Mm -hmm. One of them bitches went up my nose. <laughs> Snore it, little brat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, bro, I'm tripping, bro. What? Well, I ain't eating ice cream on my hands. Never mind. Uh, you know I just like killed like kill fifty of them. Next, and you want to use your hands to eat your ice cream? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ain't fucking touched the ice cream on my hands, bro. <laughs> so it don't matter. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell no. You got five percent. <sighs> God damn it, save it. We good. We good. Set destination uh number two. We just left the gas station. Say so we finna go eat some. Well, Y'all probably couldn't see it because my light exposure was up too high. But we finna go eat some goddamn Panera bread. Damn, nigga, hit me with the dough then. Oh, it's some off. Hurry up. I was gonna close that door. Sorry, that was Bro, it smell like burnt ass in y'all. It smell like burnt ass in here. Are you a clown here? Where you go? Maybe. I'm gonna take your Are you filming me? Don't film me. What you ordering? This is a salad. No. What is that? A vegan. sensation salad? No, I'm getting a great salad. She just ordered a sensational salad. With an egg, egg roll. A sensational salad with an egg roll. I'm gonna get a good salad. I'm just talking salad. shit, man. That's, that's that shit from Zaxby's. Oh yeah, good bro said I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the bubble guppies platinum package. Mm. <laughs> I already got the the, the fair life scrub baby milk. 
The bubble guppy, bruh. The, <laughs> bruh. I don't lie, I'm tap a lot toast as fuck, damn, Bruh, he's tapping dead into the bubble guppy side of his of his stomach. I don't get no fuck, though. The bubble Should I add bacon on some of my grilled cheese? Damn, this shit clean as fuck. These niggas in here vacuuming, y'all. They got carpet in here and yeah. some more shit. What the hell type of narrative this is? Should huh? I add bacon on my grilled cheese? Whatever you desire, bro. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires, Marty. <laughs> Damn, bro, you still ordering, bro? Yeah, because I want bread with my soup. But never. Damn, bro, you not done yet, bro? If you don't get your goddamn ass on and find something to do, move around. Damn, bro, hurry the fuck up, bro. You fat as fuck. Oh, I thought, I thought, <laughs> damn. I fought tap in, man, on the real Giphy plug. Panera Bread Rich. Mm -hmm. Take my pitch. You got it. <laughs> Niggas, I know you got it off your took shit. Ew. Who put Ew. you on the planet? <laughs> oh. Don't talk to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't talk to me while I'm ordering my food, bro. What's wrong with this nigga? Chocolate latte, where the hot shit at? I want that hot shit. Yeah, yeah. Where that hot shit, child? They got they got a symbol with with little waves, like heat waves. Where the hot shit at, though, P? That obviously must be where they all from with they frozen drinks, soft bottles. I was about to just tap the shit with stupid ass. Stop! Such a dummy. I'm trying to look through the options. Uh, but I'm a fucking dummy. <laughs> what, do what you just did again? You know what? <laughs> because why? Because why? Because clearly you don't go there. You don't? No. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to y'all in a second. Hey y'all, so we back into the vlog. I ain't gonna lie. Looks like there's a, a small detour, y'all. When we was at the last little gas station before we went to the Panera Bread spot, y'all, these two people in the gas station was like, yeah, man, it's a uh, it's a severe weather warning on the way type beat. We thought it was capping. They said it's gonna be here in 20 minutes. It went from being sunny, no rain in the sky, no clouds, to lightning, raining hard as fuck. And it's so got, well, it wasn't sunny, but it was nighttime. It was clear sky, you know what the fuck I meant. Anyways, <laughs> you know what I meant, clear sky. <laughs> Bruh, why you always ruining something? Be quiet. So anyways, now, now the, the gust of wind from uh, Aang from Avatar is being blown out this motherfucker and some old shit. It's over here goddamn shaking the Sprinter and all types of little fuckery. So we we parked, y'all. We finna goddamn, you feel me, kick it. We might do some shroomy woman, hit some hit some blizzanuts. You feel me? Yeah, now watch some uh, Netflix notes. Mom over here eating the notes cause she's hungry. No, 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 no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'm finna enjoy my little tomato soup and kicking until the severe weather storm leave or until it's uh, clear enough for us to leave here. So with that being said, we stuck in the shaky, windy sprinter until further notice. See y'all boys later. All right, so we is back into the video, man. We is like, I keep saying we is, but we are like, I don't know, man. I think we like, how many states we done went through by now, more? Shit, Hey, all I can say is we done passed Chicago. We done passed Ohio. Where we at right now, more? Uh, Missouri. We in, we in Missouri right now, y'all. But yeah, we found this little gas station called 24-7. And they got like a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say like, it's like wilderness supplies. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna give me a face mask out of here. Gonna get me some little, you know, some little essentials for the cold, y'all. Now them ponchos is fresh. I'm finna get one of these, ma. Oh yeah, mama, it's over with. Just grab what you want. Say, just grab what you want, cuz. Cuz I'm finna go crazy, cuz. It's cold as fuck, cuz. Say, we got the hat ski, we going beanies. Be beanie neeners. We going we going face maskers. Not nah, a printed beanie too freaky. Oh yeah, touch screen with the gloves on. 
Say no more. I'm gonna be out this bitch looking like a bandit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Let's see what else they got. They got little rakes in here. Look like a hot sauce. Surrender the booty. What? <laughs> Ghost pepper. Surrender the booty. Yeah, that definitely won't. Okay. So I got gloves, y'all. I got my three beanies. I got uh this little face mask thing that you put over your face. We got my mama a poncho. And some wipes. I got the wipes already. Okay, good. Did you get this? Yeah. I'll be back. Do y'all got small grabber leaves in here? Y'all probably don't even sell it out here because y'all we so far away from home. A grabber leaf? What is it? Probably. You never heard of that before? No. What? Where are you from? Oh God. <laughs> oh no. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> what is a grabber leaf? A grabber leaf. What? It's like a leaf that we that we buy from the gas station that we smoke like we smoke our stuff in. Is it like tobacco? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's crazy though. Y'all really <laughs> don't have it. Oh brother. I think I just sold the bag, y'all. I should have bought some before we left Atlanta. It looks like we, uh, it looks like we far away from home. <laughs> So yeah, man. I go, I go yeah. biscuit, hot chocolate, uh, Oreo cookie crumble waffle. Yup. Yeah. With the with the hash browns and the eggy with the cheese. Mommy go uh. Avocado toast. Avocado with, some with the some with the other. Uh, yeah, that's right. The, uh, the the vegan, the give me the vegan meal, <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> the impossible bugger. Oh, no, I gotta say, say we had to we had to treat the two breakfast. We we had to treat the family to breakfast. Quan said he was hungry. Quan Quan Taya Quan Taya Mar Taya. Mar Sleep at over there deep fry. So we on the road though, y'all. Say we we uh in Kansas, bro. I don't know how far that is from Atlanta, but we definitely we out we we a thousand miles from home, y'all. That shit crazy. No exaggeration. No movie. No movie. Bow. Hello, huh? She gave me a whole bag of salt. Nah, it was a little. It was a little. Okay, so hold on. I gotta cut the camera off for this, y'all. So we in Kansas, y'all. This shit known for uh tornadoes and shit. It be people out here chasing tornadoes. Shout out to uh the. The, the Wizard of Oz, you know, shout out Toto, uh, shout out, shout out, um, um, um what's that girl name, um, the girl, Dorothy. Dorothy, shout out Dorothy, shout out the Tin Man, uh, glad. but yeah, y'all, it look like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, everything is dead out here, I ain't seen a piece of live grass yet, it look like, bro, is that a fucking oil mill, what the that fuck, a, that's just a pump, it's an oil pump, right, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The fact that it's not a live piece of grass out here, I ain't seen a cow or an animal in sight. It ain't nothing but plantation style houses and some other shit. I, I would hate to say it, y'all, but they definitely probably still hang people out here. Yeah. Like, bro, it's, yeah, it's nothing but plantation style homes for miles, and it's not a piece of live grass out here. It looks like everything out here is dead. But yeah, it's crazy to folks be chasing tornadoes and shit out here. And it's crazy that this place is famous for fucking Wizard of Oz where a whole house got blown into another dimension. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh God, what they say, Lee? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Toto. A tahiti. A tahiti. A tahiti. Say, bro, that shit is crazy. Okay, there goes some green grass. <laughs> it's, it's one live fucking pasture of green grass on bro's on bro's lawn oh there we go, there we go. oh that grass probably fake it for oh, mm, look at that is some kind of fucking drill that's what i'm saying hard. bro it's like a it's like a oil mill or something oh you got them is cows mama those are cows <laughs> One, that one all the way to the left was a horse, but them big ass shits in the middle was cows. Yeah, like the tornado came through, all this shit be gone. Like, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it's the fact that people want to live out here where there ain't no trees, no live grass, no no nothing. You far away from everybody. It ain't nothing out here. It ain't nothing out here. To sweep up, but your house if a tornado come out here, nigga. And sweep your ass up so easy though, like the easiest way. Bro, like, like we is in like some dead ass valley. Where, they walk where the fuck? Where the hell are we? Ketchup or mustard? Stupid. I won't go. Beef, what a little beef, fellas. Ketchup or mustard? I'm gonna say no. Ah, I gotta get out of here. Okay, uh, hey, sit down, sit down. Boy, yeah. like, we is in the most I'm racist saying. town in America. Yeah, oh my sorry, fucking sorry. god. So, uh, you play video games? Like, we fuck around yeah, getting laced up. Bro, look at how long they done rode in, bro. What the Thanks. fuck, huh? Call them duty. Apex, what else? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Get the fuck out of here. Cuz. Cuz. No, it's okay. Ketchup. Look at her. Mustard. She plays Apex. Oh. Automatic, yes. Yes, you won. Thank you. Yes. So you sweet, not nah, that. You did good. We're martial no, arts. I, I got a show like four in my mind right now. A show four. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll bring them up. You must say no. I'm just say no. What you said, okay. sweet? Because I don't understand. You just okay, flip me on. off? Come on. You flipped me off, little bro. I'm going to find my one, bro. Oh, my God, it's going to be hard. I got a good tool in my head Just right now. Just say no. I got a good tool. I got a good tool in my head right now, yo. Good shit out my face. No, I know, I know who I know. I got it in my head. Oh, my God. Catch you. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, mustard. Mustard. Yeah. So, do I point? Why? Let me know. Yeah. Big mouth ass. I'm picking the first thing. Ooh, wet wheelie. Egg wheelie. Egg in the middle of a, uh, we is in the middle of an uncharted area, uh, Last shots, cause he don't need to be fucking He with only no need one more shot, it's his corona shot. Don't let him fold no dog doo-doo though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it was the corona shot last time, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the d warmer this time. Uh oh. Mexican restaurant. It's it's a little building over there that look like they they probably hang people in that bitch and shit. That shit like a saloon. Yeah, bro, look look at the gas station, bro. Like what the fuck? Where baby ghost at? Right, you know that I'm saying no goddamn grab. I'm gonna go buy me some cigarettes. Come on, baby ghost. <laughs> you better go buy some cigarettes, bro. Marlboro. Marlboro. Whoa! No! Baby ghost fast as fuck. Baby ghost said I'm fast as fuck, boy. Come on, go, come here, come on, it's a little badass, come on, Whee! goodbye. You gotta, you gotta get in there for a This smell like poo poos and pee pees out here. It's a Do you see me going on the second day with you? Seven. It smell like poo poo pee pees yeah. and cacas yeah. and we and we whiz. Alright, let's go. Yeah. That boy Marsh slump, child. I'm in love with the girl there, bro. I think anything I'm supposed to push. Ooh. Yeah, that's how you They say it ain't as cold out there, bitch, though, Chris. No, it ain't. It's kind of warm out there, motherfucker. No, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> it ain't as cold as it was in the other place. It was more windy. It's cold as hell. You just a nigga, twin. What? Why they got powder in here? Some pucker powder? Black is a black. And it is. Get up here. You gonna end? You gonna end up like this? You keep playing. <laughs> hey, twin. Why do you folks got got powdered sugar in here? That's uh, pucker powder. This shit's so fucking old. What's so old though? I haven't seen this shit since like 2010. <laughs> this is crazy. Where are we? What the fuck? Back in 2010. Okay. Dose yeah. de leche donuts. No, son. Hey, hey. Ah. <laughs> you hungry, Crown? You want some wings, twin? No. You look like jalapeno poppers. And this lottery? Yeah, right there, nigga. Mega Millions, let's do it. 600 million. Yo! Yo! Bow! Bow! <laughs> we in the middle of nowhere. We in the middle of Kansas, cause no man's land. 
Where the tornado got Dorothy and Toto at, y'all? Wow. Is it JJ's like the fish? No, like, I think it's easy for y'all to be mean. I think if you was in America, it would be hard for y'all too, bro. Nah. Bro, yes, bro. Are you ready? Alright, so we back into the vlog, man. We is officially in uh, Colorado, y'all. It's crazy because like an hour or two ago, when I had like went to sleep, it wasn't no snow outside and it looked like we was in the middle of some abandoned desert type shit. Now I woke up, opened my eyes, you look around. But it is snow. It's snow on every little tiny uh little hill, y'all. It's like it's like the farther we get out, the more snow you starting to see. That little lake over there frozen, that shit crazy. But yeah, y'all. Just imagine two hours ago you went to sleep and it was sunny outside and it was a bunch of dead grass and farms around. It looked like you was in the middle of fucking, I don't know. Like like you was in the middle of the country. Look like you was in the middle of nowhere. And then you open your eyes. It still looked like you're in the middle of the country, in the middle of nowhere. But now it's just like random snow everywhere. So that shit, shit wild, y'all. So yeah, it looked exactly the same as it did two hours ago. Still in the middle of nowhere, just you know, just a little bit of ice. But I guess I'll get back to y'all when we make the next pit stop or when we get to the next destination. So see y'all in a little bit. After a 24 hour power nap, Mar is now back in the game, y'all. Hey bro. <laughs> that nigga was slump, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. They say it look like courage to cowardly dog stay out this bitch. I'm waiting for another random ass house to pop up so I show y'all. There's no point. I'm finna be the last show going around this bitch, man. <laughs> I think I want it. Should I get the black and uh, somebody's finna get hurt on this trip? <laughs> oh, hell I got gloves. I'm gonna get we, you gotta get, get gloves, bro. You gotta get gloves. You gotta get gloves, bro. I'm gonna get the 60 to 63. 63? Yeah. I'm gonna be behind the camera. Hey, y'all. <laughs> this how, is this how you know we far away from Atlanta, bro. They got the condoms. No, this is the first away. time I ever seen condoms not behind the, 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 the fucking, what you call it? $3? $3 charges are $3. The iPhone charges are $3? You never. Ain't no iPhone charger, bro. This is an old TV cable. Oh, $3. Okay. No. But yeah, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that's nasty work. If you go anywhere in Atlanta or anywhere like in Georgia, bro, like like deep in regular regular Georgia, bro, I'm talking about some all the condoms be put behind with the people that work in the store clerks or like behind the glass or it being some type of protective casing. I ain't never seen them open for you to just grab them. Fire and ice. Hey twin, you gotta get that fire and ice. Nugget head ass. <laughs> hey, hey Quan, you gotta get that fire and ice, that fuego. Nah, bro, why they got flavor Jones? Who's sucking condoms? Ew. <laughs> Naked head ass. Look. Who out here sucking condoms? Man. Tropical. You asking all the wrong questions. You asking all the wrong questions. Come on, little boy. Hold on, I gotta give me some Benadryl, and we got. All right. So they got nuggets in bitch. <laughs> Denver Nugget. Denver Nugget. Denver Nuggies. <laughs> Walking around with a nugget on your keychain is nasty work. Drumstick. Hey, nah, why is like different nuggets? Or are these all nuggets? Nah, them are, this is oh, this a wing. Is, this a wing. And this a it's nut. a wing ding. <laughs> it's a fried wing ding. Twin, like the little one from uh, American Delis. Mm, Rucha the. Uh, <laughs> Rucha the wing. Nah, the little nuggets is fire. You see, that's the wing depot wings. South Park gonna have myself a time. It's, it's, oh it's South Park right there. People screaming loud as ever. <laughs> You kill Kenny! Stupid ass. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Going down to South Park, gonna have myself a time. Oh <laughs> It's a frosted lake. It's an enchanted river, y'all. Oh my god, it's an enchanted river. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna cut a hole in it, guys. It's time to get, get right with my body. Body awareness. I'm going for a cold bath, y'all. 
Oh, ice bath. Oh, ice bath. I did that shit one time. It's gonna be Bigfoot and Yetis out here, y'all. Y'all ready? Uh, we're gonna find Bigfoot. Oh shit, he's in the back seat. Big leg. Come on, come on, like, we're shutting the fuck up. It's real snow right here. Let's build an igloo, Twain. We're gonna be like the little people that be on at 4 o'clock at night when you oh, leave we YouTube have, on. We gotta have a snow fight, Twain. You ever left YouTube on too long and woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning and this niggas building houses out of Adobe brick? <laughs> Bruh, I found out that shit was fake, mama. That shit blew me, bro. It's fake? They're not real, bruh. It's somebody that helps them build them houses, bruh. What? So, you know, so when the cutscenes be happening, there's some little, little, little guy that comes in there with a machine and helps them build them, bruh. <laughs> yeah, bruh, they come, you wake up at 4 o'clock, it be folk building houses. Yes, bruh. It's fake, bruh. I was like... But it, it makes sense. It makes sense though, bro. How is two people building full fucking architectural in, in 24 hours, twin? That's unrealistic, bro. I don't care how much you time lapse this shit. Where is Kenny, bro? We we gotta find Cartman, y'all. Where is Kenny? Fuck Kenny, Back into the vlog, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't care what state we in. I don't care what country we in. If it's a cookies or a dispensary available, we pulling up. So we out here at cookies, y'all. Y'all know I can't show y'all the inside because YouTube be uh, meat riding. But you feel me? I'm finna go get me some goodies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you don't, you're broke. Anyways, though, uh, it's snow out here, y'all. It's crazy, bro. Like... We went from being in 70 degree weather in Atlanta to now 24 hours later we in 40 degree weather and it's ice and snow out here y'all. But yeah man, we finna go in cookies and then after that we finna head to the b, &B and then I give y'all like a little tour of the crib and all that good stuff. But with that being said, I see y'all boys in a second. So look y'all, we back into the vlog man, I ain't gonna lie. We left the dispensary, went straight to the smoke shop to get grabba and now we are in the mall y'all. What do you know? They say, hey man, when you got money, P, forget it, bro. Just shop when you land, bro. <laughs> what they say? If you if you got bread, just go out of town without no money and just shop when you land, bro. <laughs> Tell them, twin, if, when you really got money, bro, you just shop when you land, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that Maserati. That bit pretty as fuck. I, got, I, got. I don't even like Maseratis, but that motherfucker, ooh, that motherfucker nasty. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, that been nasty. Mazi. Nasty. That been nasty. 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 Maserati. I Mama, I'll buy it just to hit you with it if you keep talking. You, 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 I, I will buy it to run you over if you keep talking. No, you gonna buy it to slang your ring. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a buy it to run you over. They got Burberry. Twin, we gotta go find me some Shinsky Bush. Where the Balenci? Balenci, I go. <laughs> he just said, do Balenciaga make ski wear? Yep. Yeah. Asking a genuine question. You want to fucking look at me like that? Goddamn Burberry, Burberry Bandit? I'm fucking tired of your old uncle. Fuck. Burberry Bandit, fuck. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. acting like they don't make good drippers. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Denver Mall ain't that bad. It be actually kind of like, it actually look pretty nice. Yeah, it don't look like Greenbrier. What they say? say they say Denver Mall don't look like Greenbrier, y'all. It is pretty nice. Say, I'll come back to y'all in a second, man. I'm finna, I'm finna probably go in Neiman's. I don't know where the hell everybody else going. I get this one. That's better. You, I wouldn't feel so bad about being swung around in My Mazi. Them little tight-ass cars. Mazi. Oh, her little eyes so squishy. <laughs> She think like a BBL. Canada, Canada goose. Say so we need some of that, some of that, that snow wear. Um, but yeah, ours are definitely meant more for performance. I think I'm finna go all white attire, mom. Okay. You want all white? I feel like I'm gonna you do all white, bro. I'm wearing, blue. I'm wearing all black. It's White House Tavern. Yeah. It's a restaurant. <laughs> and then meat and cheese is really good. Meat and cheese? Yeah, and if okay. you feel like dropping a good amount on sushi, Matsuhisa is to die for. Okay, cool. Yeah. And it, what's the name one more time? Of what? Of the place. 
Oh, the sushi spot? Matsuhisa. Matsuhisa? It's basically Nobu. Okay. Um, they're the same thing. So his and what was name the first is, one you said? Um, White House Tavern. White House Tavern. So the guy who started Nobu, his name is Nobu Matsuhisa. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, very similar. I ain't gonna lie, man. I think I want to go fur on my neck, man. It's also our last year uh, doing fur. We do have a few okay. jacket with fur, which is right here. Alrighty. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. Hold up. I don't know what this is on my camera. It's a glare. Get me a freaking jacket, cause that thing right there, I can't zip over my boots. Yes, you can. You had it zipped up. I had on a t-shirt. Look, y'all. We finna uh, go uh, snowwear shopping. We inside the, the store right now. I'm finna get me a Canada goose with fur on the neck, and then I gotta get me like some ski pants or some ski boots. That's perfect. So look, y'all, we got the small. This is the jacket we're gonna wear with the fur on the neck. Now we gotta go get, gotta go get pants and shoes. Then we're gonna come back. You wanna try the fun? We, y'all, we got, we got a, a Louis Vuitton store in here. No cap, no kids. Y'all know they're my favorite designer brand. No lie. But right now, y'all, we are trying to look for, uh, where are we? Oh, Neiman's. We're gonna go to Neiman's, y'all, so I can get me some snow boots. Straight. But yeah, we finna go to Neiman's, so I'd get me some snow boots, and I need to get me uh, some some ski pants, and like a ski shirt or something like that. But we we finna figure it out, and I'm finna come back to y'all when we inside of Neiman's, so I'll see y'all in a second, no cap, no kids. Get my ski boots, get my ski shoes, and get the, get the fuck out of here. Ugh, I'm like, Damn, that shit say up. <laughs> Man, turn, <Go> bro. <laughs> that shit just blew me. That's doing too much. Why you rushing me like I'm doing something slow? I was trying to help you like I'm Man, fuck the elevator, man. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, they having they having fragrances in it, huh? Ugh. Ugh. That one stain like a motherfucker, boy. What is it? Candles. I know, I'm saying what's black. Smell that one. Why the hell they musty, bruh? <laughs> These candle musty as a motherfucker, man. They want musty too. This one smells good. This one smells good. Why the smell good, but the candle smell like ass? This one got a little twang to it. Since I be spying in front of Tell what? Tell him. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. They're my favorite. These my favorite smells. Aventus is the one. Talking about for her. No, nigga, this for him. Mm -hmm. Free spray, y'all. Um. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I can still smell them. I know what most of them smell like because I got like a vintage and stuff like that at home, but. Okay, well, just let me know because you're empty. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let me say, if I couldn't smell it, I'd let you know. That silver mountain water be that motherfucker, though. I ain't gonna lie. Which one should I get, ma? A vintage or silver mountain water? I like that one. I do too. I like more musky. Mus musky. He's a musky dine. Musky. Mus musky. She said it's still doing it. You Why? just approved it, didn't you? Yeah. You gonna be a transaction on it like I did the other day? No. I ain't did none of that. You sent me $200, that was it. That ain't nothing though. That's what I said, that was it. Y'all gonna say I got a business account, I should not be doing that shit. Yeah, that was it. Bro, I'm gonna get annoyed, bro. God damn. What fucking plan? I'm gonna have to send it to you so you can do it for mom. This shit annoying. Say, just... say, say, it car. do get different when your car get a decline and them trying to make you look bad, y'all. Let's put it on there. Hold on, I'm gonna do it one more time. Hey, just send me a text. 
I just can't win. Y'all are trying to make me look bad in front of these nice little people. What is it? It says we already heard from you. Thank you for your response. One more time? Yeah, try it again. Should have not, bro. I'm just gonna send it to you. Cause that shit's stupid. Any of these other ones that kind of giving you that fresh? It's still doing it. Just send it to me. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna just send it to you. That's crazy business, bro. When you go out of town sometime, that happens. You may need to get in the car and call How back. How much is it? What is it? 511? Alright, 51141? Uh huh. Where my phone is. I know. So they over here trying to make me look like a poor nigga, y'all. Am I really like one of the only uh, Hispanic looking African Americans in here, y'all? And we, bro, I ain't gonna lie, you take a good look around, y'all. You, you let me know if you see somebody that look like us in the general area. You see that blonde hair walking around? Hold on, let me turn this way. I'm not gonna lie to you, gang. You making me look bad. Say, be away. Stop complaining with my money. You making these folks think I'm poor or something. I got five hundred dollars for cologne, nigga. Fuck. But yeah, yeah, we finna, we finna get this, finna get this cologne and head out. I was finna turn up. I was finna say, how you are declined too? Uh, it better not. say, better say approved. Not. You said what, twin? Yeah. And then the downstairs, uh, buying cologne and my boots. Name me Marcus. Here now. All right, come on. Thank you so much. All right, bye, bud. Time to go get these shoes and these pants. We get the hell on. I just went out so terrible, y'all. I ain't had my mama buy nothing for me since I was a little kid. Oh no, nah, what my drink at? <laughs> bro at tweaking. <laughs> bro at bro at tweaking. Bro, bro at twacking. Quan was looking at him first. It wasn't even me. Quan, Quan was like, bro, twacking. I don't like Quan. He should fuck. I can't even see myself wearing that like this, bro. I just put it on. How the hell you put your arms through this bitch? I'm not getting hard. He say, we go ski drill, y'all. I gotta go find your ass some fucking shoes, nigga. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna wear with the shoes, bro. The big P. Little bit hard, bro. Shut up. Say, I would need a shirt, bro. No shirt? No shirt. Oh, brother. I think you got it on backwards, to me. It probably is on So we back into the vlog. I got them on right this time because I had them on backwards the first time. We finna cash these out. These is a cool little 600. Then we gotta go find some boots and I gotta go find a top shirt. So yeah, y'all. Go back to y'all in a second. Dang. Tell me something. Dang. They're about to call me with my ankles out. I'm look crazy, they want a wide angle. Whoa, that's wide. Say all the way in Colorado, y'all. Twin say he fought with me. Boy, get a you make a thumbnail. Hey, hey smart. Thank you. Smart. you good, my mom, I appreciate you. Thank you. So, guys, you. Nah, bro, we was walking through Neiman's twin. There was a whole bunch of people behind me, twin. He oh, pulled, he, he talking about something. He got the point at me. He talking about, I think it's him. He pulled out his phone and showed it to all his boys. He like, it's him. I was like, nah, it's time to go. Yeah. Trying to get these pants. Say it one more time, I couldn't hear you. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, oh, hell yeah, we're at. Oh, nice. Yeah, you guys should have good condition. That's, that's what I heard. I dumped all yesterday. I was going to say, just got finished snowing. Look. I ain't expecting nobody to know me. Um, why would you not? I don't know. But people know you overseas. Why would they not know you? Yeah, people do be saying they watch me in London and stuff like that. I mean, it's so Colorado is crazy. We is a thousand plus miles away from home right now. Where are you guys from? Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. You are not close. Not That's at what all. I'm saying. So, for somebody to say they watch my content all the way out here, it's crazy. 761 67. Well, appreciate it, right? Yeah. Of course. It's crazy. You finesse 
Jason too. He got a thumbnail. Nice. What he'll he'll talk about. I still like that one. Yeah. Wait, maybe it'll ask you to recognize it again. Yeah. So I would say again. sometimes it just doesn't like. Yeah, I would say try it one more time. Sometimes See, it just doesn't. Let's see. Cause the dude just sent your card is unlocked. Yeah, didn't like it. Just send it to me. I can't wait. I can't wait to get my little bit of that. Oh, it's like, man, you're not in Atlanta. Did he just send you something? Yeah, but then approve it. Is that Atlanta? Probably. 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 Just do it. How much is it? Uh, seven sixty one sixty seven. Seven sixty one sixty seven. Yes, sir. I'm glad Wells Fargo don't do me like that because I'd be pissed with that. It's, it's and I get it because it's for your business. No, it's not even that. It's because I'm trying to use my virtual card. Because I don't have oh, my physical you don't card. Have your car. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So they're like, they're like, bro, you, girl, we're swiping a thousand dollars without your card. No way. Yeah, can't be. That right, can't, that be, that can't be right. Right. Yeah. And you're over here like. So okay. it's like, okay. But it's crazy though, because anything under 500 is good. Yeah. If it's over at 500, it's over. Yeah, that's that's when it becomes suspicious to them. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? Yeah. They let me they let me sell money to her, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. That not an issue. <laughs> right. Why you are, using why it on the phone? Oh, no, no, brother, no. why do you not have your card? Why are you trying to spend six hundred dollars without your card? They said virtual thousand miles from home. Right. Virtual payments. Like <laughs> <laughs> hey you have a great time. Thank you. You're gonna love it. Thank you. 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 I like that. Yeah, but I told you, after this guy having trend shit, bro, they be, they be trying to go. I gotta go find some fire at Boots, bro. Not only that, bro, they have decent clothes for the summertime, too. He's running. So I ain't gonna lie, y'all, we got fans in Colorado. This shit's crazy. Let me stop saying that, because I'm the one that told y'all not to call y'all selves that. Y'all are not my fans, we are family. We got family in Colorado, y'all. They got the opium store right there in the office. The opium store? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That's another seven hundred dollars out my pocket. Hold up, we gotta go. Hey, mom, you good, right? What the, what the hell, y'all? You know I'm recording too, bro. Is that you good? It's on camera. He's talking about he watch my content. Nah, nigga, they need to be watching your content. Where the fuck you gotta go? Yo, bad, bad, say bad, bad. He like hell no. Nah. Side. What your name is, Dwayne? Hell yeah. What's your name is, Dwayne? Hey, yeah. hey, name is, give, give me a phone. Hey, Mark, get me. Yeah, tell me what your name is. Con. My name is Con Conasati. K H A. Yeah. Go tap into my YouTube. Yo, he got a goddamn goat. <laughs> uh, I'm taking yeah. Hey, tell him what your name is, Dwayne. My name is Yeah. So, y'all, we got supporters in Colorado, y'all. This shit crazy. Nah, we watch all those Say, hey, man. I need to go get me a haircut. Y'all don't look at rough. Everybody catching me trying to take pictures of videos, and I like a crumb. I like a little crumb bum. You ready? All right, let's do it. Trim, y'all. Say, not only do we got support in Colorado, yes. Twin got his channel going. Yep. Then he just bought a baby goat today. Yes. Hey, this shit hard, y'all. Mm -hmm. Who would ever thought that I would have came like a thousand miles away from home in some Pretty snow cool. and there's still people to vote us, y'all? Say, it's love everywhere. This shit hard, though. Twin just bought. Tell him, Twin, pop your shit. $10,000 on a fucking goat. Yeah, 10 Am I snowboarding? Y'all came for snowboarding? Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Y'all got a cabin? Yeah. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Some shit like that. Put y'all shit in. Oh, then you say, bruh. You ordered it online? What? This thing? No, uh, oh, this thing, yeah, this online. Thing? Oh, that's the jacket to the pants yeah. they gave us. That's crazy. Oh, I got both. Yeah. I don't got it. Oh, you you. Them, no, we to hey, look, look, if you watching this vlog, twin, I got the pants. I ain't got the jacket. Can you send me the jacket, please? Right now, bro. Okay, what is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, you you are how you pronounce it? Buari. Okay, we're at the Buari, y'all. We have my snow pants. We got my, uh, we got the jacket. I got gloves. We're getting a shirt. We're almost done. I don't know what other pieces we need, but we'll figure out in a second. I need boots. Leap got his outfit finished. I need boots. Only thing for I need is shoes. We finished buying mama outfit. Mama got like some van type boot Jones, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> no twins, 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 twins. Alrighty. So I was wondering, if you're like just bopping around town, I used to live in Aspen and I would only wear sneakers. In fact, can I show you something real quick? Sure. Okay, cool. So um, with these, when you're um, off the hill, okay. you want to take this, uh -huh. 
and you want to do that. Oh, nice. So that way you're not stepping on the back of it, plus oh. you'll look like a local, which is great. Um, okay. <laughs> but nice. that's like what that inner thing I when you're walking is more for. Yeah. Which one you like? Mom, I kind of like the shoe. I like the shoe. I like the shoe. The shoe is more you. The shoe is more you. Yeah, I'm like the boot cool, but like, I'm like, this ain't really my like. No, that's not your aesthetic. No. If you're going from a ski boot or snowboard boot, you're going to be wearing a long wool sock. And that's also like if snow does go. Yeah, you're good. Get the shoe. Where Mar at? I don't know. Mar! I don't know what Plus, like these you can wear in the summer. These have they, a they left. That's not allowed to breathe. This that's what I'm thinking. I think the shoes are better. Shoe. The sneaker is better. It's wrong, right? Yeah. I think we should get the shoe, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Did I make the wrong decision? Should I have got the boot? I feel like I should have got the shoe. And usually y'all agree with me. So y'all probably say the shoe. We on, it's only one way to find Alright. So we just went through about. I think I just went through like three, four hat options, y'all. I tried the white hat. I tried the black on black. I tried the cream. I didn't really like the cream hat because it threw off the white that I got going on with the whole little white and black aesthetic. I didn't like the all black because I feel like it was a little bit too monotone. This one was cool, but it was kind of throwing it off because if you look, the other colors I got on ain't really like an all white. It's more of an off white. So this didn't really match either. So we've come to the decision that the best hat was the hat with the black with the red patch because it got black just like you feel me my black little overall type vibe and then they got the patch that matched the north face jacket that i had on so it kind of bring it all together y'all will see the outfit completed on body later on when we uh snowboarding and outside playing in the snow and stuff but for right now i'm gonna put on my regular clothes so i'll see y'all in a second let's get back into our regular attire no cap so we finna get out of the snowwear and put back on the marnie slippers and the uh the sweatpants see y'all in a second Say I got my socks, I got my ski goggles, my ski boots, I got my, my ski jacket, my ski outfit, ugly, my ski pants. Say, I'm ski ready, ugly. Well, yeah, man, we just finna uh, get back inside of the Sprinter, y'all, and we just finna head out. We got another two hours before we make it to our destination. We in Colorado, but we in Denver. We're not supposed to be in Denver. We're supposed to be in fucking Aspen. So we got a little bit more uh, of a drive to do. It's so crazy though, y'all. There's snow out this bitch. They say to all my young niggas that ain't never seen the snowball, it's a snowball. For sure. <laughs> Are you gonna oh, be sure. ready? Are you she, gonna be ready? She said, she said snowball fall tonight, Tony. Not right now. It would be a bad time. <laughs> right now. Not 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 right now. Okay, I got me some gloves. I got I bought some gloves at gas station. You tripped. I got me some gloves and the, and the ski goggles. I'm good. I got my whole shit. And I didn't grab like no Just rain boots when you got done go skiing. I don't like, ain't no point of buying them bitches. Bro, I made my shit hard, boys. Nah, don't hit me with a hard. Look at this one. Don't pack that junk tight tonight, uh, uh, Kali. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I know <laughs> Yeah! Uh, no. <laughs> Now, why would you do that? <laughs> Did y'all call me? Here we go. They say, we just start to get some to eat, y'all. We was at motherfucking Raisin Cane's, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Raisin. Oh, I'm gonna burp, y'all. Excuse me, uh, fine young gentlemen and women. Uh, glad, but yeah, bro. I ain't been to, I thought Raisin Cane's was really like an L.A. thing. I ain't even know this one's out here. Excuse me. Going, uh, he said he's going St. Patrick's Day lemonade, y'all. Pe peppermint lemonade. Uh, like. Yeah, please. I, I want my receipt for the bread, too. No, it's fine. I am just playing. It's going to be two nights. Why is only one tiger print chair in here? That the freaking seat? <laughs> that the freaking seat? Oh, it's it's like something to do with Kane. I, I forgot what It's the Kane EX seat. It's the, uh, nah, bro, it's, what's the, what's the dude, the, the Tiger King? It's his seat. What's his name, Twin? What's the, ti what's the Tiger King name? Carol Baskin. No, that's the lady. Oh, what's his name then? Oh God, what the fuck is his name? Joe? Hey, yeah, Joe. Something. A bunch of small whites and small Hispanics. Joe Lyon. <laughs> it's freaking me out. 
No, because when we was in the mall, all them goddamn acres we saw. <laughs> they growing at an astronomical rate. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Goes down, hey twin, they got disco balls in the back. I need to eat. Oh shit, bro, these got, bro, these folks got full of disco balls in the back of raisin canes. I ain't never seen no raisin canes with disco balls before, y'all. They want me to hit that little thing. I thought that was why I thought your bread was a piece of chicken. Well, why does green shit got my lips dry as hell? Why he why why he got why he got green lemonade, y'all? <laughs> Why well, you holding on that bit for dear life? It must be good. Must he was not ready to let that bit go. Bro, I was just trying to show the camera that boy said. How fast it? What you expecting, man? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Why, why, why they come St. Patty's Day lemonade? That shit crazy, y'all. We finally made it to Aspen, Colorado, man. We is inside the, the icy hills. Hold up, y'all. I gotta take the uh, lock off the door so I can show y'all what it look like out here. This is crazy. Say nah, y'all. Say we in the icy hills, y'all. I think the craziest I think the craziest thing about it, us being out here inside Aspen ain't even the fact that we in the hills, but it's the fact that like what's indigenous to this area, y'all. So you ain't got none of, oh hell no. But anyways, y'all, you don't got none of this in like Georgia. So like, if you go to Georgia, y'all, like, well, I'm lying, y'all, in Atlanta. In Atlanta, bro, we got like raccoons, possums, coyotes and shit like that, but we don't got no bears, ain't no mountain lions, ain't no wolves. It's a lot of different shit out here that you won't see inside Atlanta. So, yeah, man, that shit cool. But, like, let me give y'all a little quick little tour. I got to give y'all a real tour in the morning when everybody awake. So, I go in all the rooms. We're going to give y'all a little quick tour of, the, of what I can show y'all right now. You feel me? So, then we just going to start from the front door. I ain't going to lie to y'all, though, bro. I'm, I'm smelling it. I'm fucking with this shit. Now, mind y'all. Marin Sweets is already sleep, y'all. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. We were supposed to get here at 2 in the afternoon, but we made a bunch of pit stops. As y'all seen, we stopped by the mall, went shopping and stuff, so it pushed back our time, like, way behind. We were supposed to get here while it was daytime. We didn't get to Aspen until night. But, yeah, y'all, starting from the door when you walk in, you got baby ghosts. Ugh, glad. Okay, boom, you come in here. Nice big living room with TV, fireplace, you feel me, when you come inside after it being cold out. Nice little tables, boom. You got some little 360 glass type vibe showing everything going on outside. Y'all really can't see nothing because it's dark outside right now. Uh, we got a view of the pool right here, y'all. So we looking out right over the pool. Not gonna lie, y'all, it's pretty player. And boom, you could slide this glass door all the way open on both sides and look out right here. It's another little door right there. I don't know what's in there. Dining room table, kitchen. Come across to here, y'all. We got the first bathroom. She trying to get me copyrighted, y'all. We got first bedroom with little beak and little Qantas. No cop, machine fit. Okay, so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I helped Quant piece this together, man. They say we got. We got the, the mohair skinny weenie. We got the silver John. You feel me? Puffer jacket John with the the orange hoodie John. Okay. With the with the silver pants John with the with the insides made out of fucking whatever the fuck. Them shit's be hot as shit, y'all. And then you feel me? Yeah, bro. Two bedroom though, bro. Why they put an iPad on the fucking wall? <laughs> shit. I got an iPad in my room too, bro. Chill, bro. But yeah, y'all, they put an iPad on the wall for us to watch TV on and shit. Niggas say, the TV damn near two trash cans put together. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, y'all, room number one. You feel me? Boom. We got the Roni, me and my mom, man. You feel me? Another iPad on the wall, two little TVs. And then we got the master bedroom. I fucked around and just gave it the sweets and them. Because it was the only bedroom with one bed. And you feel me? Shit. 
Quan and all of us don't care about being in the room together. My mom and us don't care about being in the room together, but I'm fairly certain my partner and his girl don't want to be in the room with us. So I was just like, I get in the room by themselves at the end of the hallway. So yeah, man, that's like the quick little grand tour. Like I said, I can't give out like a full tour because uh, some folks sleep and some of the doors are closed. But with that being said, I'll show y'all everything that there is to show y'all in the morning. And I'll give y'all like a view of outside so y'all can see what it look like outside, show y'all what the mountains look like, show y'all what the ice look like, show y'all what this shit look like in the daytime, because everything look completely different in the daytime from how I look at nighttime. But with that being said, man, I'm about to lay down and get ready to go to sleep, because tomorrow we finna go snowboarding, skiing, finna have uh, snowball fights and all that good shit. Plus, we've been up for hours, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was a 48 hour drive. It was only supposed to be 24 and it ended up being a whole two day drive, y'all. Before we go to sleep, let me give y'all a little quick little, little sneak peek of my uh, ski outfit. They say we got my ski shoes from Canada Goose. They kind of look like some off whites. We got my ski gloves, no cap, okay, all black. We got my Canada Goose hat. We got my white uh, spandex tight t-shirt, boom. We got my my ski, uh, what you wanna call these, y'all? My ski overall Jones, you feel me? Ski overall Jones. And then we got my big Canada Goose jacket over there, y'all, but it's put up in the bag, so I can't even show y'all that. I gotta show y'all that tomorrow when I pull it out. But yeah, man, I got a crazy ski outfit, y'all. I just spent a stupid amount of money, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Shoes was like, shit, y'all can see that. Shoes was like 700 after tax. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. This shit, not trying to clear up. 700 after tax, hat was like 200, shirt was like 100, gloves was like fucking, I don't know what these was, like 50. These was 700. Yeah, damn the jacket, 1500. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got like a $4,000, $5,000 ski outfit. But I'm done with my little yap session, man. I will see y'all in the morning, and then I'm gonna give y'all an overview of the outside of the crib, inside the crib, and then we're gonna get into these activities. So, good night. Hey, man, we back into the vlog. I know y'all probably like, what the fuck? Yeah, we outside late night action, man. We got, y'all can't even see Marty nigga like a shadow on the camera, boy. What the fuck? I can see Quan because he got this stupid ass white shiesty on and like, like a uh I don't know what the fuck he look like. Lee Say we outside y'all it's got damn lady shit. It's like five in the morning and we walk into the gas station because since we in Colorado and we at the top of the mountains with all this ice and shit, uh it ain't no Ubers out this bitch y'all. Ain't nobody finna Uber your ass through the snow and ice, dumbass. And, and and not only is it no damn this nigga crib hard as fuck, bro. Of this shit in the nigga, nigga, all these nigga shit hard. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So like I said, bro, niggas not gonna Uber your ass nowhere because who driving in the snow and ice for your little fucking measly ass eight ten dollars? And then not only that, bro, like the place where we at, bro, like nigga, I guess the general population shuts down after like eleven o'clock and don't open back up till eleven o'clock because all the businesses out here it ain't no fast food no restaurants no nothing y'all the closest mcdonald's is an hour away what? yeah yeah it's no fast food out here it ain't number restaurants so it's a hundred plus restaurants in the local area y'all but they all open at 11 o'clock in the afternoon and close at 11 o'clock at night so if y'all ass don't eat before 11 or eat before uh 11 in the afternoon you're fried you, you fried, you chopped cheese but anyways uh with that being said y'all since it ain't no fast food out here Nigga, it ain't no DoorDash. It ain't nothing for a nigga to order. So literally, if your ass don't get food while the restaurant's open or go to the grocery store, you're done. Uh, glad. So, so we looked on the maps. We tried to look for fast food. There's no fast food less than two hours away. We tried to look for uh, DoorDash. Ain't no DoorDash. But there are two gas stations that surround this bitch this 24 hours. It's only two fucking gas stations in this whole fucking area y'all but the gas station is 24 hours and it's like an eight minute walk so we're gonna walk to the gas station get some snatch then we're gonna head back to the spin night but that shit is crazy y'all imagine being in a little town where there's no ubers no doordash and every food spot closes and opens at 11 o'clock the fuck <laughs> what the fuck y'all nigga think this is nigga how y'all niggas got Tesla chargers, but y'all niggas ain't got no food spots open past 11 o'clock? 
the hell tight shit is this? But yeah, y'all, imagine staying in a little ass town where everything opens at 11 in the morning, closes at 11 at night. It's only two gas stations in the local well, area. And, and you ain't got no fucking fast food around. Hey, look, bro, I got that Glock. You'll die in that van, fuck, boy. Fuck you, Tim, it. Yeah, like. Where they call police on us? Just your stupid ass up, bro. Shit crazy, y'all. What little spot we walking in? They got a whole little shopping district. These folks got Montclair out this bitch. So that boy got that shit on. I should have came in that bitch. That nigga outfit hard as fuck. Oh, they got a Montclair the same color you wanted, nigga, with the fur on it. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, bro, I should have came in here, bro. These niggas snapping. Damn, nah. Why the fuck these niggas shit so hard, though? Bro, got that shit on. Damn, we bait. I bait it, Quan. Nigga, look at the boots these niggas got on. Oh, yeah, Damn, bro. I baited bad as hell. Fuck this gas station look like some other shit, y'all, but fuck that. Why is this bitch closed? Why do you folks still be reading newspapers and shit around here, y'all? We in an old white prehistoric town. Beat on pillage the village. Ugh, man. Oh, you open up the door, P? What you doing? No, bro, stop touching that damn doorknob. He's going to the back. All that plan and shit. He over here freaking the doorknob, teasing niggas and shit. It's cold out here, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Do it again, Squeeze. Let me see. You can see it. Hey, y'all. Y'all see Squeeze blowing her breath on this nigga, Mark? <laughs> you don't smell it. Do it again. Bro, the fact that you can see it on camera is crazy. I didn't think he was going to be able to see it. It's cold as fuck, man. <laughs> bro, niggas play too much, bro. It's like six in the morning. Niggas out here stomping on lenses and shit. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What the hell that bitch made out of? Hey, Lee, come, come hit that bitch with a stomp. First, first nigga to crack it, get $10. <laughs> Ooh. You didn't crack it, nigga. I swear to God, it cracked. Hold on. You gotta come at an angle. God <laughs> damn! First nigga to break, this bitch get ten dollars. If it don't break with them, it's not breaking. Oh God! Twin stomping that building, Yo. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Twin put his foot into the dirt. <laughs> That's fucked up. Bro, why you trying to steal my technique, bro? <laughs> that bitch is not. That bitch indestructible. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think we the only black people in this area, and we all got on ski mask and all black for the most part. Niggas look like real life bank robbers. This shit crazy. I know them fall like hell now. I said that look like I'm You definitely get bank robbers. Hold on, I gotta put I gotta put mine on. They gonna be like, whoa. That's why I told you guys. Niggas, hey, it cold as fuck, but hell no. Nah. What's your elite crew over there? Y'all ready to make that walk? Yes, bro. We shells down. What? Shell, shell down? Shell. All right, y'all. So, we say the gas station will probably be open 24 hours. That bitch was not 24 hours. That motherfucker was not open, y'all. That motherfucker was hella closed, bro, and they're setting up shopping shit. But they say that it's a shell one minute around the corner, so we're gonna go see what they're talking about. But that pizza place like a Benny or something. What the hell? Well, ain't no damn pizza place. This shit like it's sir hibachi. These little restaurants fine, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. You know who the fuck finna be sitting outside in the cold, though? Oh, nah, that'd be an art. You say, I don't see this bitch. Where the fuck is that? Ooh! So I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These folks' houses is so far. Now, mind you, I could never. Oh, no. But now, mind you, I could never convince myself to stay in the ice or stay in the cold like this. But, bro, these niggas' houses is hard, bro. I get a house like this somewhere where it's warm. Ugly. Mm -hmm. 
And y'all probably could barely see it because it's dark outside, but it's shit crazy, bro. The fucking mountains and the hills is right behind the place where we staying at. I'm going to come outside and give y'all like a better view during the daytime so y'all can really see what these folks' houses looking like and what the mountains looking like. And we can walk through the little shopping district, get something to eat and shit like that. But the gas station was a failed plan. So with that being said, we going back to the crib. No cap, no kids. So we back up. And we back into the vlog, man. But really, it ain't even no we. It's just me and Quan. Leek still asleep, Mar and Sweet still asleep, and my mama still asleep. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. We is in Aspen, Colorado though, y'all. If y'all don't know, and if y'all ain't been watching my vlogs, me and Quan always get up early. So me and Quan decided that we finna go out and go get some breakfast while everybody's sleeping. And we finna get a little quick little tour of Aspen, Colorado for y'all. You feel me? Before everybody get up. That shit crazy though. Just look y'all like, bro, it's snow outside. And it's snow on the hills, bro. We in the middle of the mountains. And it's crazy to think that not only are we in the middle of the mountains, but like it's almost us. Not even it's almost. It's springtime right now, y'all. Everybody in Miami for spring break, and we in Colorado. To think that it's 80 to 70 degrees in one part of the world, and in a whole another part of the world, it's fucking brick dick and cold as fuck. That's just crazy. But yeah, y'all, we just finna follow these uh, little directions on my GPS, and we just finna go to this little food spot and go get us something to eat. Cause niggas is hungry. I hope these folks take Apple Pay, cause that's all I got. Hey, Quan, you got your card? Say, so we gotta make sure this man got his card, y'all. I be down, we get all the way up there and we can't get nothing to eat. That should be tragic. New paddy. Only a five minute walk, though. Say, so luckily, even though I told y'all it's like no uh, food spots close by and there's no, like, you feel me? It's only two gas stations and shit. It's like a whole shopping plaza with Montclair, Hermes. They got motherfucking Prada. Uh, they got every designer store you could think of. It's like 500 restaurants. But like I said, all the restaurants open and close at 11 o'clock in the afternoon and close at 11 at night. All the gas stations say they 24 hours, but it's only two of them and neither one of them were open and one of them don't even exist for real. And then when it comes to the goddamn uh, the coffee spots, that's the only place that opens up early around here. All of the coffee spots open up at 6 o'clock, so that's where we finna go right now because if we was trying to get real food, can't do that till 11. So, I'm gonna get some little breakfast at this coffee spot and then we out, y'all. But yeah, man, ain't no, ain't no regular stores, ain't no grocery stores, but you got a full shopping district with designer shoe stores and shit, and you got like 500 restaurants and... I mean, it's some pretty decent stuff. So you got some options this walking distance. Just don't think you finna walk your ass to McDonald's or Checkers or some shit like that. Or don't think you finna walk to the gas station because if that's the case, it ain't happening, B. It's, it's real scarce around here, man. Bro, it's cold as shit out of this bitch, huh? Pull my phone out so we can follow these directions. Say so we got a five minute walk, y'all. That ain't that bad though. Give y'all a little quick little view of what Colorado look like though, y'all. This shit fly. All right, so we are walking into the same little miniature city we went in yesterday, twin, and when we was in the dark. The only difference is it's daytime, so now y'all will be able to see what it actually fucking look like. I ain't gonna count, y'all. The shit that we staying in is so fire, bro. Like, we staying in some real player shit. I ain't gonna lie. In the top of the fucking mountains. The fact that we in the hills of the mountains covered in snow is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We barely get snow in Atlanta. I think it's only snow in Atlanta like two, three times. So to actually see snow and know that it's here all year round, that shit's kind of crazy, y'all. Nigga, they got bears out here. Mountain lions. Ugh, lie. It's crazy because right before we got here, like not even a week ago, not even days ago, less than like 24 hours ago, it was a whole snowstorm out here, y'all. 
Shit, don't even look like it was a snowstorm. No, look like everybody was out here chilling. All right, so we are four minutes away, y'all. This would be my first time trying to crate. As many times as I, I've been to Cafe Intermezzo, and I be telling y'all, like, Cafe Intermezzo is like a, a French-style restaurant, which I believe I've never had any French-style food, for real, for real, other than, like, the pastas they be serving. I've never tried no French-style dessert. So, if you want to be honest, bro, I've kind of explored the French culture, but I ain't. So, today, y'all, we getting a motherfucking crate. Hopefully this crepe is good. I don't know if I want a sweet crepe or I want a savory crepe. If y'all don't know what a crepe is, it's like this thin bread type vibe. And you can either choose to put like fruits, berries, and like sweet shit in it. Or you could choose to put like meats and cheeses and shit in it like an omelet. So I don't know if I want a sweet one or if I want like one that tastes like, you feel me, like some, some, like some actual breakfast food. I guess we're going to figure it out. I'm definitely getting me a hot chocolate because it's cold as fuck out here or some type of coffee or something. But we almost there. Oh, yeah, look, this is the building I was trying to show y'all yesterday, y'all. These folks' houses is so fire, bro. Like... Imagine having a house stand in the hills of the, the goddamn mountains. That shit is fire. Bro, what type of bird are you? That motherfucker sound weird as hell. Bro, look at that nest. That nigga nest big as shit, Juan. What type of bird is that? Oh, he right there. Look. Oh, that shit, nigga, what the fuck? I ain't never, I ain't never seen a bird that... Is that a white and black crow, nigga? That's crazy. What, ta what type of bird is it? You forgot the name? That's crazy. You can? For real? Where'd you just come from, if you don't mind me asking? Where did I come from? Yeah, like, like where'd you get your drinks from? Oh, there's a, a hotel around the corner. For real? Yeah, that we stay at. That's cool. Appreciate you, boss. Yeah, have a good one. Same thing. Breast blue. I didn't even see it. So it's black, white, and blue. Magpies? Yeah. That's the name of the bird? Magpie. Magpie, okay. Thank you, boss. Say a magpie bird, y'all. I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's crazy. Goddamn magpie. So we are walking through the actual city of Aspen right now, y'all. Y'all see the, the hills and stuff? We got hotels right here, man. It seems like everybody's pretty friendly out here, y'all. That's why I think the crime rate is so low. And I mean, I ain't gonna lie, usually, typically places where like weed and shit like that is legal, bro, it's always lower crime rates. I don't know why the places where drugs is legal, everybody choose to uh, not beat each other up. Who knows? You you know, maybe because niggas be calmer off of, you know, marijuana and shit. Bro, that's crazy. It's a whole little snow pit. We got it. Look at this shit, y'all. It's literally a whole ass snow pit. That shit fire. Look at this where we need to have the snow fight at. Oh, that's where you get the rentals at, twin, for the skis. So the ski rental is right around the corner from our house. We only got a while, five minutes to go get the ski rentals. That's crazy though, y'all. It's a whole snow pit. We gonna come here and have a snow fight. It's gonna be me, Quan, Mars, Sweets. I don't know if mama gonna be in it. Leek gonna be in it though. Say so everybody gonna be in it except for mama, man. But let's do it, y'all. We finna go get this food, man. This is cool, I ain't gonna lie. That's hard. Nah, being in the hills is hard. Put my glove back on. I don't lie, y'all. Look like everything get to running early around Ask me, y'all. I got a question for you, if you don't mind me asking. Excuse me. I got a question. Are you from here? No. No? So, are you visiting? Yeah. Right, where are you visiting from? California. California? Do you ski often? Yeah. Yeah? How long you been skiing? Since I was a kid. It's fun? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be my first time, that's why I was asking. Mm -hmm. I said it's gonna be my first time skiing, that's why I was asking, for real. Exciting. It's exciting? Thank you. Have a nice one. Say, awkward ass white lady, man. 
you know, you get some awkward ones, and then sometimes you don't. You never know. <laughs> the t-shirt, man. Boy, it smell good as hell. Boy, it smell like eggnog around that motherfucker, man. Say, we back inside the shopping district, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's like a whole bunch of... We didn't even know it was a shopping district five minutes around the corner from the crib. We wouldn't even went to the mall if we knew it was a shopping district. I'm over here going to Canada Goose, going in the mall, Easter egg hunting for clothes, and it's a whole Montclair store right around the corner from the crib. This shit is crazy. Bro, it smell good. It smell like something sweet out here. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The hills is crazy. Say we out here, bro. They they driving cars like like movies and stuff, y'all. The station wagon. Quan, we need to go this way. Oh, bro, somebody got a husky outside running, twin. Somebody got a husky outside running. Bro, this is like a movie, bro. I feel like we in a movie town, twin. Bro, they got the shuttles. Look, you see them. The shuttle's going to the top of the hill, twin. Yeah, I, see it. I don't know if y'all can see him on camera because my camera ain't meant to zoom in that close, but it's shuttles going up to the top of the mountain. That's crazy. Oh, I think I want to go from there. <laughs> but that's hard. You got yeah. to, you know, that's where the snow starts. Hell, no. You know, the snow don't be down here, twin. Why you, why you think all you see is ice and clear road? You know, the higher up it is, that's that's where it's harder to melt at. So you be having to go to the top so you can actually ski. Because all of this shit down here is just melted ground and ice. <laughs> Damn, bro, they got whole ass fucking stores right around the corner, bro. Boots, hats, and some more shit, bro. The crepe shack, that's where we're going. It look dead. Say it's open, but it don't look open, y'all. Say the crepe shack. Sweet or savory? See, that's what I was trying to say, y'all. I don't know if I want to go sweet or savory. Say so we're going into the crepe shack, though, y'all. See y'all in a second. Ooh. Ooh. Wee. Oh, this is the menu right here. We got savory crepes. You got... Uh, what is this? We got Alaskan, Italian, California, and then it looks like this side is like Okay, so these is breakfast y'all. We got croissants. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here y'all I don't know exactly what I'm gonna order, but when I figure out what I'm gonna order I'm gonna come back to y'all. Say y'all, I've never really watched the process of a crate being made, but it, it looks pretty cool Okay, y'all y'all see y'all see what's going together right now. So that's the crate right there. Boom. We got what we do, Quan, we did two regular crepes and then we did one sweet and savory, y'all. So this right here is the two regular crepes and I assume the one that's over there is probably the sweet one. So hold up, y'all. Check out check out this, this crepe action. He said I tried to. You didn't want to get up. Ooh, look at the s'mores one, y'all. Tell you, nah, that s'mores one look crazy. Fuego. Then we got our two hot chocolates right here, y'all. Say, I ain't gonna lie, we start, we starting the day off right, corn. No cap, no kids. No cap, no kids. Gelados. We haven't had the delivery because of the snowstorm, so hopefully it's coming. The truck comes today. How, how was that? When was the snowstorm? It was like uh, a, a day ago, a wasn't week, it? But the ice because that's the only route to get to the side. It was close. That's so crazy, y'all. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the crepe, y'all. Okay, so this one right here is the savory one. We got eggs, applewood, bacon, we got cheese. Basically a breakfast crepe. And then the other one that's coming is like a dessert crepe. This one is like s'mores. Thank you so much. And then this one right here is the s'mores one, y'all. This one is like more so uh, chocolate, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Crazy, y'all. They outside training their dogs. <laughs> all right, y'all, so this is the savory crepe. You see, we got eggs, bacon, cheese, all that good stuff in it. 
This one right here is a sweet crepe. It got like marshmallows, chocolate, uh, it got like caramel syrup, s'mores. It's a s'mores crepe, y'all. But we finna try both of them and I'ma let y'all know what I think. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This one with the eggs and the bacon. Buzzers. What you thinking for? That bit hit me. Egg, bacon, maple syrup, crepe, smack it. I almost would say 10 out of 10 if I wasn't trying to be like, you know, like being biased. So I'd say like, it's really like a, really like an eight out of 10, but it's more, it's more for five. The breakfast one was good, time to try to sweep it. Hold on. So yeah, y'all, we in this ski store. We decided to make a little detour before we go to the crib. I'm finna show y'all some of this ski wear, man. So y'all can see what type of winter wear y'all could wear. If y'all ever go skiing, or if y'all ever go somewhere where it's super cold. Back into the video, y'all. So yeah, man, uh, we is in the ski store right now. We was supposed to be going home, but we made a little detour. We decided since everybody sleep, we might as well just venture off until everybody get up. So we looking at what type of winter gear we could get while we out here, cause we had a couple days out here. So I'm finna get me like one extra outfit so we might come back and shop here. So we just looking around y'all. So I ain't gonna lie y'all, I got one of these suits that I'm finna wear today, that bit so pee. Uh, I'm, I'm getting into my ski aesthetic y'all at first bro, like a year ago. But you couldn't have paid me to wear no overalls. But now that I kind of like start wearing different clothes, I'm into my baggy fashion stuff. I'm really trying to get like more into just like wearing clothes in general. Shit like that is actually pretty fine, bro. But when I was younger, bro, I used to be like, hell nah, you couldn't pay me to wear no baggy shit. And I would have said that shit was ass. Bro, these ski clothes is fine, bro. I don't even know how to... I don't even know how to ski, but I would buy ski clothes just to have them because they so fucking fire, bro. Like, tell me this ski jacket ain't hard, y'all. This shit fire. Fuego. They is snapping with these ski jackets, y'all. Say, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? MB <laughs> here, dog. Hey, it's crazy, though, y'all, because we in Colorado, man. So, look, are you from Colorado, Twin? Uh, Argentina. Nah, Argentina. Argentina? Yeah. How is Argentina? Awesome, bro. It Let's is? Go. For real? How long have you been here? Like three months. Three months? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, awesome. You ski a lot? I ski a lot, yeah. Are you good at it? Nah, average. I ain't gonna lie though. I'm not even average, so I'll I'll take that. Average average is good. Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Nah, the way you just shrugged your shoulder, you like you probably be falling in the snow. <laughs> yeah. This shit is beautiful, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's crazy. I've never been nowhere like this before in my life. Like I've been to a thousand places, and mind you, Atlanta, we done got snow like three times in the past 15 years or something like that, but being somewhere where it snows every day, that shit is crazy, John. That boy got big boy bins out here, though. That's one thing I can not say, y'all. They still be out here driving Hellcats and Scatbacks and all types of shit. You would think that these motherfuckers would be driving snowmobiles and shit Efo don't give a damn damn bro that mountain is crazy then look y'all i think you could get a glimpse of the fucking uh the little things that carry people up to the top i don't know if i can see them though that's nasty work though jerome f davies God, nigga, that ain't even snow, bro. That's just straight ice, muddy, muddy ass ice. Muddy ass hard ice. The... I thought that was a dick in the window, bro. <laughs> bro, I thought they had a, a dick fucking balloon in the window. I was finna spaz, Quan. Cause what the fuck is that? <laughs> Don't. It didn't even feel that cold last night, for real, for real, other than my hands. Yeah, look at this bird, bro. Let it go on right here. Hey!
why that bitch was responding to him? They say, boy, we finna go get in that pool. That boy said that pool in and the hot tub. I, I ain't know if it was just a, a, a big pool and a kiddie pool or what it was, y'all, but it's a big pool and a hot tub, man. They both heated. Say, they went like a 90 some degrees and that one like a 100 some degrees. Say, you could be in the middle of the snow and still get in the pool, y'all. That's fine, no cap. You made it this far, man. That means you made it to the end of the vlog. So anybody that's here, y'all run to the comment section and comment ghost trip, y'all, so I know that y'all watch the whole video, man. All I can say is, I appreciate y'all. I know I tell y'all this all the time. I tell y'all this when I unbox my PO packages. I tell y'all this when I see y'all in public. I tell y'all this every chance I get, but I don't think y'all understand how grateful I am because without y'all, I wouldn't be in the position I am right now to think that, um, shit, I say this shit all the time, but like, Less than a year ago, I was just getting out of Rice Street. Uh, I was, I lost my license, I lost my car, I ain't have no crib, no none of that, y'all. And to think that I started my first vlog sitting inside of a regular apartment. It was the first apartment I ever stayed in. And looking forward, I would have never imagined to be where I'm at right now. So I be having to tell y'all how appreciative I am because I think the moment I forget where I came from or I forget the people that helped me get here, the universe will take everything that I worked so hard to get. Um, I be remaining humble as hell because I understand that at the end of the day, if it wasn't for the people that watch me, the people that subscribe to me, the people that support me in public, the people that send me clothes, the people that do anything to help what I got going on to support my situation, I wouldn't be in the position I am because at the end of the day, bro, yeah, I did a lot to get where I am, but if it wasn't for the people that were supporting me and believing in me from the sideline, I'm going to be honest, bro, it was a lot of times when I was ready to give up, but it was that one message or that one comment that kept me pushing, so I always got to thank my supporters. Plus, I feel like when you forget that you skin, bones, and blood, and we all got the same 24 hours in a day, I feel like that's another reason the universe will take everything that you got. Y'all got the same 24 hours in a day as me. It's nothing that I could do that you can't do. It's nothing that I can accomplish that you can't accomplish. And I always want y'all to remember, bro, like, the underdog could end up being the main character, bro. It was a point in time when I was overlooked, and now everybody wants to be a part of my situation. So I want y'all folks to understand, bro, don't get discouraged or don't feel like it ain't for you if it ain't working out in your favor right away. A lot of times I would give up not knowing my that my next life. move might be the move to change my life for forever. I feel like a lot of times people set themselves up for failure because you be expecting so much out of life not understanding that you got to respect your process and understand that things come when it's meant to happen, not when you want it to happen. A lot of times I wanted to be a millionaire a year ago, a couple years ago, but I would have lost it just as quick as I got it because I didn't go through the process of becoming who I am right now. Like... Me going through the process of wanting things and not getting it when I wanted it. Me going through the process of loss, going through the process of being at the bottom and having to work my way up to the top. I got a way different respect for my money and I got a way different respect for people. And the reason why this shit will, it'll always be, it'll always be bigger than, than it is to somebody else to me. Like my first car, bro, it was different than everybody else getting their first car because I had went through so much along the way to get there. So like I said, bro, just respect your process. Understand that every obstacle you go through, it just makes the reward that you get at the end of the fucking journey way more appreciative. Like you could be, you could actually appreciate what you fucking got, bro. I can think of times when things was handed to me and I lost it just as quick as I got it. Because when things are handed to you or you just get things dropped into your lap, you don't have a respect or an appreciation for it because you didn't work towards it. I can think of quick, easy money I got, and I can think of money I work hard for, and I always take the money I work hard for because the money will stay around a lot longer because when you work for it, you're not just going to give it out just quick. A thing I want y'all to take from this vlog when y'all watching this is, bro, I tell y'all this all the time, bro, but I used to be real hard struck on material shit, y'all. I used to feel like material stuff was everything that the world had to offer. I used to think cars, clothes, shoes, and all of that shit was just like... I used to think it made me feel like my life was complete after I got all that. But what I want to tell y'all is, bro, in life, is new material being made every day. It's always going to be a new car. It's always going to be a new pair of shoes. So if you chase a material, you'll never be satisfied until you find something outside of that. Having a passion for what you're doing, uh, having some type of hobby, or just having something outside of just making money and buying shit you'll never truly be satisfied y'all and if you are bro shit you different brody stay away from me i don't want no materialistic niggas around me but all i can say is two thousand dollars worth of shoes i bought fifty thousand dollar cars hundred thousand dollar cars and it'd be cool that first week or two 
first month or two, and then after that, it kind of just starts to fade away, and it don't hit the same anymore. But one thing I could tell you is, like, my life experiences, the people I meet, the things I do, the places I go, the people whose lives I change, the people I touch, the memories I make, shit, the memories I invest into, it always stuck with me more. I could think of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on bullshit, buying Van Cleef bracelets for my mom and some more shit, child. But my mom will remember these trips that she took with me way more than she'll remember that Van Cleef bracelet after it starts to rust and get old, y'all. You get what I'm saying? Like, I could think of stuff I deal with my partners versus stuff I bought from my partners. Them memories, those trips you take, that'll stick with you forever. The mark that you leave on this world is real important. And what I want y'all folks to remember is, bro, you can't leave a mark on this world based off material. There's people that bought hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of shit. It's people that are millionaires and billionaires and nobody gonna show up to their funeral because they didn't look out for nobody while they were here. It ain't about the money, it's what you can do with the money. I would rather say that I took care of my family, I changed people's lives, I created memories and I created experiences than saying that I got hundreds of thousands or million dollars worth of shit to leave that I can't take into my casket with me. And a lot of the shit that you getting right now is going to lose value when you ain't going to be able to leave it to your kids. I'd rather leave a business to my kids, leave a legacy to my kids, leave a name to my kids, than leave Dior's and Balenciaga's and a bunch of bullshit. So what I want to tell y'all folks is, bro, when you watching these vlogs, bro, not only do you need to watch me live life, but you need to live your own life. And I want y'all folks to realize the whole point of these vlogs is to inspire y'all and show y'all and just motivate y'all that if a person like Casper could do all the stuff that he doing, you got the same 24 hours in a day. You got the same skin as me, the same bones, and you bleed the same blood as me. You could do it too. And I want y'all folks to remember, like, at one point in time, I was the person that was discouraged and thought that a lot of the stuff that I seen for myself was impossible. But until you put one foot in front of the other, you never know what you could do for yourself. You never know what you could do for the people around you. You never know how quick you could change your life when you just lock in and maximize your potential. It was a long time when I used to be thinking I was going in the right direction, but I was putting myself around all the right people and going around all the wrong places. And what I can tell you is, bro, doing shit like that, you'll become a victim of circumstances. You'll either be in the wrong place at the wrong time or around the wrong person at the wrong time. And what I want y'all folks to understand is, bro, live your life and understand, bro, it took me a long time to realize material and the street shit and all the bullshit in the world, it really don't matter, bro. The only thing that matters is you and what you could do for you and the people around you, bro. And if these people ain't having no mutual relationship with you, cut that shit off and nip it in the bud. I know I'm kind of getting the blabbering and stuff, but I be feeling like some of these conversations be beneficial because it's people that need to hear this shit and it's people that need to hear what's real, not what you want to hear. All I can tell y'all folks is, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, man. In the next video, we will be in Colorado, y'all. There's going to be a whole bunch of snow-related activities and all that good stuff, man. And y'all will see me stopping a whole bunch of places on the way back from Colorado. It's going to be a pretty long road trip. It was 24 hours there and 24 hours back. All I can say is the next two vlogs is going to be action-packed, man. Colorado was a long trip, so it might be a part one and part two. Y'all just stay tuned for that. All I can say is, man, I love y'all, Ghost Family. I promise y'all I do. That's why I work so hard. That's why I talk to y'all as much as I do. And as much as people say I'm yapping, I know these yaps is touching somebody somewhere. And I tell people all the time, I only got a, a couple hundred thousand followers and not even on every platform. And there's billions of people in the world. So until I touch every person, I'm never going to stop yapping. And Lord knows, bro, eight billion people in the world. Hey, man, I might not be able to touch everybody before I die, but that means I'll die doing what I'm doing, talking to people and changing people's lives. I appreciate y'all for giving me a platform. I appreciate y'all for even taking time out to listen to me and watch these videos and just give me a place to where I could help other people. All I want to tell y'all folks is I love y'all. If y'all is coming back and y'all already subscribed, man, welcome back, Ghost Family. I will see y'all in the next video. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Welcome to the Ghost Family. Make sure you like, comment, and share. And I'll see y'all next day in the life of Casper, no cap. I'ma show you nigga how to buy, show you nigga how to play.